Hi guys, Squirrel here, and welcome back to a Flight Simulator video. It has been a while, I agree, I put my hands up to this. However, in the downtime, I have taken it upon myself to shell out another $200 on P3D. Despite the $200 that I shelled on it back in May, P3D has gone from 2.5 to version 3, and I've been strongly resisting paying $200 again this year for P3D. They don't have any upgrade pricing, but I did it, and well... I think you'll find that the results do actually speak for themselves. Uh, annoyingly, annoyingly, I have to admit defeat, P3D version 3 is a very impressive product. And in this video, I'm going to fly. I'm going to fly the, uh, the Airbus. I'm going to fly from uh, Athens to Corfu. We're flying, we're using Fly Tampa scenery here, Fly Tampa airports of Athens and Corfu, which are very, very nicely detailed. You'll, you'll see that. We're quite late in the day, so the sun is about to set, so we should be landing into Corfu. Uh, the night lights will be on, that kind of thing. It should make for a pretty interesting landing. But keep your eye out for the frame rates. They're so good. The, the scenery's beautiful, the, and the frame rates are excellent. The general graphics in P3D version 3 are pretty high. If you want to know what mods I'm using, what, what products I have installed, have a look in my mod spreadsheet. There is a P3D tab, and in there you're going to find things like Orbex scenery, uh, Rex soft clouds, all this kind of thing, all the things that I install on top of P3D. P3D in all FSX looks anything like this by default. You have to spend quite a bit of money and time and effort tweaking it to get it to look this good. And that's part of the reason for the outage. It's taken me a while to get it to this point where I'm happy with it. So I shall be bringing back flights and videos. Um, I've got aircraft planned, but we'll talk about that later. Um, let's talk about the flights. I'm not going to show you all the um, all the programming part. Let's just skip that. Let's just get down to the, the nitty gritty here and uh, we'll start taxiing down the runway and go for a takeoff. And you can just see how good it looks. But on the next flights, I will go through proper detail and procedures. Look at that. Look at the frame rates here. I'm getting something between... Um, it tends to average somewhere between about 35 when you're at the sort of one of the more dense locations like say Gatwick but then it'll go all the way up to sort of 40 50 and even when you get into the sky you'll be hitting 60 or 70 FPS it's crazy I did have to do quite a lot of tuning to get to this point I had to tune Nvidia inspector uh, to get the right settings for my setup now unfortunately it is a black art guys honestly it takes a while uh, you've got to get everything right in p3d then you've got to get the settings right in p3d uh, you've got to play with it, the numbers, play with the sliders and adjustments to get it right with the right amount of scenery objects and terrain detail. And then you've got to basically tune NVIDIA Inspector so that it's, you know, it's rendering it properly and not doing too much work, but making it look as beautiful as you can while keeping a good frame rate. That's seriously what it's like. It takes quite a bit of time. Uh, there is a chap who made a website called Rob Ainsco. You can find him online. If you've got an NVIDIA setup, uh, have a Google for Rob Ainsco P3D. You'll find a web page that he did where he details a lot of settings that he's put in for FSX and P3D to do with NVIDIA SLI and his settings inside the flight sim. Very, very useful site. Highly recommended. Uh, I used it to sort of help me to tweak my settings. So if you are trying to get the best out of your flight sim, you might want to take a look at that website. We're uh, taxiing down here, getting ready to take off. We'll, um, we'll stop just before and do a final takeoff check, put the lights on, all that kind of thing. But if you look on this panel bottom right, you can tell whether you're in a takeoff configuration or not. If you see a blue there, it means you're not in a takeoff configuration. So we're not quite set up just yet. All right, let's just hold up. Okay, so at this point, this is where you put your uh, your takeoff lights on, your, run, your landing lights, and all that kind of thing. Put your strobe on. You leave the strobe off while you're in and around the airport. Uh, you want to put the strobe on as you cross over onto the runway. That sound there is the crew. Basically, the Airbus um, has a little thing in it where it picks up on you switching the lights on and then it kind of plays these audio noises. So they ground themselves a coffee and then advise that we're ready for takeoff, which is quite funny. As if they'd make a coffee right before takeoff. <laughs> it's just, it's nice, it's nice to have. There's actually a, um, you can turn on a, flight crew as well but the flight crew is really annoying it gives you this guy you can't see him but you can hear him he sits there sort of turning pages over 
and then coughs and then sneezes and that's all he does all the fight is cough and sneeze and by the end of it you're thinking if i was sat in a cockpit with you bro i, I would just kick you out because you're going to give me a disease this is crazy but it's a nice touch but i turned that one off i like to have the uh the cabin crew though that's quite nice right let's get lined up and then uh what i do is i kind of power up to about 30 40 percent let the engine settle and 100 above ignore that that's because i didn't set the barrel reference in the flight in the um in the computer i didn't set the barrel reference there you go that was him that wasn't me that was him right i'll shut up so you can hear the engines So we rotate back now, climb up to about 15 degrees. Once you've got that positive climb, then you bring the gear up. Uh, it comes to gear, look at that view. Just look at it go, the frame rate is extraordinarily good. Well that's sunset. Autopilot engaged. Autopilot is going on. That's the co-pilot thing in the Airbus. So yeah, we are up. Very shortly we'll retract the flaps. So that's the view you'd have if you was a passenger. What a cracking view that is. I don't know, I don't want you, but I'm impressed, I really am. I, I couldn't fail to be impressed by these frame rates. So you reduce the, the power back down to climb now. With an Airbus, you um, you basically, you see that's in climb notch there? You, you gate into climb for most of the flight. The flight management just takes over it, auto trims and all that kind of thing. But even looking out the window looks fantastic in this. It, also, the rendering has this kind of soft focus effect, can you see it? I think you can turn it off, but it's it's quite it's a little bit dreamy, but it's quite nice. It kind of softens everything. But yeah, there you go. We are up in the air. So I won't bore you with the whole flight. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll have a look at a bit of scenery on the way, and then I'll pick up as we start our descent down into Corfu. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, musical piece with uh, some visuals. I, I have to say, I, I don't know about you, but when you sort of watch that back and you look at the scenery in this, in this and you think to yourself, you can kind of see why pilots want to fly now. Because that is one spectacular way to see the Earth, I think. Anyway, that's where we're landing. That's Corfu down there. So the general flight here is, as you can see on the flight pan, hopefully, is we're going forward, 
we descend and loop we loop back on ourselves and then we approach the landmass we you'll see there's like a beacon there's like a small uh, hill with a beacon on it and we'll pass that beacon and bank hard left and I'll take manual control at that point and, uh, and, and glide it down it's the easiest way to be honest I found anyway so here we are there's the beacon in the hill as we're talking about we're currently in autopilot still and my basic plan here is to fly autopilot just around that ridge keep my eye on the airport on the left I'm controlling the speed making sure we get exactly what I want that's the autopilot turning over his notes again I, I, I've i not found him doing anything so far he just generally turns notes over sneezes a bit occasionally coughs now this is not quite Innsbruck but it's still an interesting little descent going around this hill here it's a nice little landmark but with all these hills around you do have to be a little bit careful with your positioning so I'm kind of watching my altitude here because I wasn't exactly sure what altitude these hills were so as I got closer I decided to sort of bring the altitude level down a little bit but I'm rapidly approaching the point, the point where I'm going to take over manual control here we're now hard left it's a beautiful view just, 1, just below us, look at that okay, just check in, full flaps One thousand. There it is. Just watching that curve. As I get remotely onto the straight approach, that's when I'm going to take over manual. Auto flight off. Okay. There we go. Now the good thing about the Airbus is it will also trim for you, so it's very much fly-by-wire. Hundred above. If you're in the uh, the Boeing or something, above. you've got to think about a few more things. But the Airbus is a little bit more forgiving. You kind of point the aircraft where you want it to go, and it and it works out the rest basically. Nice little reflections on the water. So I need to come back a bit left, and then straighten up. Just about now. Keep your eye out on all the scenery detail here. 400. Absolutely beautiful. Fly Tampa scenery is amazing. Fly Tampa on top of all bets is just wonderful. The lighting. 200. The details, incredible. 100. 70. 60. 50. 40. 30. Throttle back. 20. Retard. 5. And touch down. The reverses. That's the uh, terminal on the right over there. Nice smooth touchdown. Welcome to Corfu. There you go. Look at that. This is one of the best times of day to come here, I think. Just because of all this lighting, it's just absolutely gorgeous to look at. Get the APU turned on. I'm not entirely sure why we've got Kiwi Crew. <laughs> I might have to have a look at the settings and see if I can change that. I don't know if it's, if it's always Kiwi. It's quite funny though. Well, it's got the lights off because the co-pilot's supposed to do all this, but I have to do it all manually. And then I overshoot my take, my exit point. <laughs> I should have gone off at the right though. I was too busy knocking the lights off. So now we're going to have to go off here, which I'm not supposed to do. Rent a car place over there. Coach is going past. All of this just makes the whole thing just feel really lived in. I tell you what, light aircraft around here would look pretty nice. I might have to do that at some point. Right, I'm not too fussed about where we're going to park. I'm just going to um, 
find a spot on the left over here. The sky is like purple. It's just amazing. One thing I don't like about the Airbus, well, the Aerosoft Airbus, I should say, is the lighting. Uh, the internal lighting, you can't control. Like, you can have it on or you can have it off, but I find it too bright. I'd like to dim it down a bit, but it won't let you dim it. So you just have to put up with it, I'm afraid. There he goes again! Captain Sneeze! I think over here we'll do. Somewhere on the left. Seems to be a few uh, jetties over here. Not jetties, jetways. Jetties are those things that you get in the water, aren't they? Unfortunately, I don't have GSX running at this point, but when I get GSX running, we'll get um, we'll get GSX stuff in there to deboard the passengers. Always looks nice, GSX. It does kind of go a bit screwy sometimes, especially the taxi. That there's like a car, that, a van that you can follow, a safety car almost, and it'll take you to your your terminal. But it frequently goes wrong. It's rather funny. But yeah, that's. Uh, that's the flight, Athens to Corfu. I do hope you enjoyed that flight. It's so good to be back in the cockpit. I really enjoy it. And I have to say now, I'm really happy with the, where this simulator is at. It's everything I want in terms of frame rate and detail. Um, it, it's just like the closest thing you can get to actually being a real pilot. It's fantastic. But that's it from me, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Please give me a like if you did. Leave me a comment. Let me know what else you'd like to see me do in flight simulation. Until the next time, take care. Happy flying.